All right, and we're recording. So welcome everyone to this gentle yoga and meditation class this evening. My name is Jessica. Um, I'm a yoga and meditation instructor and a health coach and a retired uh, army nurse. Um, today's practice is gonna be a real gentle practice. Um, we're gonna have an option. We're gonna start out standing. Well, actually, we're, we're gonna start out with just the breathing practice to start out with. So you could do that standing or you could find a comfortable position seating, perhaps cross-legged or kneeling or sitting in a chair if you plan to do the practice from a chair today. So you can go ahead and start to get it settled in whatever is comfortable for you. I know some of you might be sitting in a chair for the practice, but then you'll stand up for that section. So you can just settle in in your chair to start out with or Finding a comfortable seated position where you feel grounded. And if it's comfortable for you, we'll just kind of close the eyes to start out with, starting to bring that attention inward. I know that many of you have had that we've had a lot go on um, with 2020. Many have had busy days today, a lot going on on the news. So I'd like us to all begin to just settle on really connecting with the breath. You can place a hand on the chest and a hand on the belly to help bring a greater awareness to that sensation of the breath. I'm just noticing the qualities of the breath. Noticing the rate and the depth of the breath. Noticing if it's more concentrated in the chest or in the belly. I'd invite you to just deepen the breath a little, allowing for a longer extension of the inhalation and of the exhalation, especially. Just allowing the breath unrestricted, allowing that rise and fall of the belly. Noticing that space and that stillness at the end of the inhalation and at the end of the exhalation. And at any time during the practice, if any of the exercises that we're doing don't quite work with you, feel welcome to just return to this position, just placing a hand on the chest and a hand on the belly and reconnecting with the breath. And now if the eyes were closed, you can go ahead and reopen them. And we're gonna start out standing and just doing some opening of the joints of the body, if standing is accessible for you. If you have any balance issues, I would suggest perhaps having a chair handy just to place a hand on um, for some of the standing postures that we'll be doing here in just a little while. We're gonna start out with just by doing some shoulder rolls. And you can do this movement with the breath here as you inhale, bringing the shoulders up towards the ears and as you exhale, dropping them down. Inhale, shoulders coming up towards the ears and exhale, pulling the shoulder blades together and dropping down. And changing directions. We just had someone come into the room, just welcome. Get yourself settled in here. 
And now we'll do some neck rolls, just gently letting the left ear drop towards the right shoulder and then allowing gravity to bring the chin towards the chest and then the left ear towards the left shoulder. Just gently rolling back and forth. And now we'll go back to the shoulders, but this time doing some larger rotations here. And now stepping the right foot forward and we'll go ahead and take that left hand, connecting that left thumb with the fingers, placing it under the crook of the left arm and do a little more isolated rotation here of that shoulder. Just making small circles with the elbow. You can even drop that right ear towards the right shoulder. As you rotate the shoulder, feeling all those connections into the the neck and the chest and the upper back. And then we'll release that arm, go ahead and shake it out. And then we'll step forward with the other foot to the left foot. And now taking the right thumb, connecting it to the fingers on the right hand and making circles on the other side. And again, here you can drop that left ear towards the left shoulder, feeling that stretch of the right side of the neck. Feeling all those connections and now we're starting to open things up in the neck, the shoulders, the upper back. And then releasing that right arm, you can go ahead and shake it out and we'll do some rotations now of the elbow. So we'll do, we'll do both, both at the same time, just circling and you can lead with the thumbs here. We're circling outward and away from each other and changing directions. And now rotating the wrists and shaking out the hands. Shaking out the whole upper body, just starting to kind of have the idea, the visualization of just kind of shaking things off from your day. Perhaps even visualizing them just kind of oozing down the body into the ground. I'll do a little rotation now of the spine, just gently twisting. As we rotate around our center here. And now we'll pretend like we have a hula hoop around us. And we'll go ahead and place the hands on the hips. We're gonna rotate the hips around in a circle as though you're kind of scraping the inside of a hula hoop here. And changing directions. As we start to open up some of the joints of the lower body here. And coming back to your center, go ahead and rotate the hips a bit. So you can use the chair to kind of help support you if you'd like here. We're gonna just gently rotate that left hip here around in a circle. If you'd like to, you can stand and make big rotations here too. I'm going back the other direction. All right, and now switching to the other side. And as you rotate that hip, feeling those connections into the lower back here, changing directions. And 
And then we'll go ahead and just kick the knee or hinging the knee back and forth here on the left side. And the right side. And then shaking out the feet and the ankles. You can kind of shake and rotate. And then coming back to stillness. Just noticing sensations that are present in the body, noticing the sensation of the breath. All right, you can now bring the feet so that they're about hip distance apart. We're gonna do some forward folding here. So if you'd like to, you can use a chair as a support in front of you um, for these movements. So I'll actually turn to this side just so that you can see that option. So we're gonna inhale our arms up overhead and then grasping the right ankle, sorry, the right wrist with the left hand. We're gonna go ahead and stretch over to the left side. And now switching sides, grabbing the other wrist, stretching over to the right. And then coming back to the left side again. And as you stretch this right side of the, gut, the body, just pressing that right foot into the ground and extending all the way up into the hand. And back to the other side. And then coming back to center, we'll do, we'll do a shoulder stretch. So go ahead and grasp that right elbow with the left hand and then reaching the uh, right hand towards the left shoulder. We can, you can slightly lean over to the left side again, stretching that right side of the body. A little bit deeper stretch here. And then inhaling back up, we'll go ahead and switch sides. So now grasping that left elbow and leaning over towards your right. And coming back up to center, we're gonna place the hands together here and then go ahead and drop the thumbs down towards the base of the skull. Getting kind of a passive stretch here of the front side of the body. You can lift the gaze upward into a gentle back bend. Just taking a few breaths here. And then inhaling the arms up overhead. We're gonna do a forward fold here. Now here's where you can use the chair as a support and I'll show it without also. And so we go ahead and exhale, coming into a forward fold, bending the knees. And you can have the hands on the chair here or the hands on the ground or on your thighs. And with the knees bent, we're just gonna allow the upper body to release to gravity. And you can even spread the legs out just a little bit wider and just swing back and forth here. And just allowing the chin to come in towards the chest here. Allowing that length in the spine from the tailbone all the way up through the cervical spine. And then we'll go ahead and walk, walk out our legs here, kind of an exaggerated walking.
and then spreading the feet a little bit wider apart we'll go ahead and go ahead and lunge towards our right side feeling that stretch up that left leg and coming back to center and then exhale lunging towards our left side inhaling back to center exhale lunging to the right Inhale to center, exhale, lunging back over to the left. And you can even reach the hands down here, reaching the hands out and then walking them across as you switch over to the other side. And then coming back to center, we'll walk the feet together just a little bit here so that they're back on the mat. And then we'll inhale up to a flat back, finding length here in the spine from the tailbone all the way out through the crown of the head. And then exhale, releasing into a forward fold, bending the knees. Inhaling back up to a flat back. Fingertips on the thigh, um, sorry, on the shins, or you can be using the chair here also, just really looking to find length here. Length in the back of the legs, length through the spine. We'll exhale into a forward fold one more time. This time we're gonna come back up to standing. So bending the knees with strong legs, inhaling. You can sweep the arms up overhead, hands coming together overhead and then coming down together at the heart. And we'll do a few standing postures here so you can use the chair for support again. And I'm gonna have the hands overhead for these lunges, but you can always place the hands on the hips if putting the arms up overhead causes tension in your neck, so. Go ahead and inhale the arms up overhead or just bringing them to your hips. And then we'll go ahead and step the left leg back, coming to a high lunge. You can bring the legs as far apart as you need here to feel stability. And at this point, that back left heel is up off of the ground and we'll go ahead and drop that heel to the ground bringing that back left foot to a 45 degree angle for our warrior one and the hips are still facing forward at this point point. and again you can have the hands on the chair here for support and stability and then we'll open up to our warrior two. So turning towards your left, the left arm is gonna go back, right arm coming forward. Gaze goes forwards over the tips of the right fingers. I'm feeling that strength and stability again, legs as far apart or feet as wide as they need to be to feel stability here. And then we're gonna go ahead and sweep that left arm back up, shifting the hips so that they're squared forward again, back to our warrior one. And then hands to the hips, we'll go ahead and step back forward again, inhaling the arms up overhead, palms of the hands come together. We're gonna to come back to our forward fold as you exhale, inhaling back up to a flat back, long spine here, exhaling to a forward fold, bending the knees, pressing with strong legs, sweeping the arms up overhead, hands come together and down to heart center. And this time we'll be stepping the right foot back to our high lunge finding that, that width that you need for your stability here. Arms up overhead on the hips or on your chair. And we'll start with the heel of the right foot up in our high lunge. And then as you're ready, you can go ahead and drop that back right heel to the floor. So that back right foot's gonna be at a 45 degree angle here as the hips are squared forward for our warrior one.
And now this time for our warrior two, we're gonna open to our right side. So the right hand's gonna come back, left hand comes forward, gaze over the left fingertips. And then sweeping that right hand forward, hips squaring back forward again for our warrior one. And then we'll place the hands on our hips, stepping the right foot back forward and we'll sweep the arms step overhead. And we'll do one more forward fold here. Inhaling up to a flat back, long spine, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, pressing with strong legs, sweeping the arms up over hand. Hands come together and down to heart center. And then just dropping the arms back down. Coming to your Tadasana Mountain Pose. So the feet are about hip distance apart. Allowing the shoulders to drop away from the ears, allowing the shoulder blades to release down in the back. Feeling that connection of the feet with the earth. And perhaps even a connection of the fingertips with the ground. And feeling yourself as strong, stable, and supported. And now keeping that sense of stability, we're gonna do a balanced posture. So we'll go ahead now and shifting 90% of the weight over to the right foot. And then coming up on the ball of the left foot here, just a little bit of the weight still there. We're gonna do a tree posture. So you can just bring that left heel of the foot towards your right ankle and just allowing that left knee to fall open. And you can stay right here. That's your challenge for the day. Or you can slide that left foot up onto that right calf. Perhaps bringing the hands to heart center. If you'd like more of a challenge, you can move the foot up to that inner thigh, just being careful to avoid the knee here. And then as you're ready, gently releasing that foot back down. And then we'll come back to our mountain pose again, finding that sense of stability, that connection with the ground. And now placing 90% of the weight on that left foot, the left side here. You can come up onto the ball of that right foot here. Just starting to test the balance a little bit. And then bringing that right heel up to your right ankle, just allowing that leg to kind of open up out. Getting a little bit of a stretch in that right hip. You can just bring the hands into heart center here, or you can move that foot up so that it's on the calf. And perhaps staying here or even bringing that foot up to the inner thigh. And if you do this, pressing the hands together at the heart and pressing that right foot into the left thigh to find that sense of stability. And then we'll just gently release that foot back to the ground. 
And then finding our Tadasana one last time. And we're gonna go ahead now and move to the mat for those of you who are able to get to the floor. Otherwise you can go ahead and make your way to your chair if you have a chair, which I suggest having a chair that's stable without wheels, something like a folding chair or a steady kitchen chair. And if you're coming to the mat, we're gonna go ahead and lie down on our backs. We'll lie down with the knees bent, soles of the feet on the ground. And if you're in the chair, finding a position, you can tilt the hips back and forth, finding a nice neutral spine, but one that also has a nice length, feeling the strength and length and support of the spine. You can place the hands on the belly again here, Just sensing the rise and fall of the belly with the breath. And with, e with each exhalation, allowing for the release of any tensions that might be present. Sensing all the areas that the body comes in contact with, the surface that it's resting on. And if you're on your back, just noticing all the areas where the spine comes in contact with the ground. or sensing the backs of the legs on the chair, sensing the soles of the feet on the ground. And now if you're lying on the ground, we'll go ahead and draw the knees in towards our chest and just gently rolling back and forth, massaging the lower back. And then whether you're on the ground or in the chair, we're gonna go ahead and stretch the legs out long. We're gonna go ahead and rotate the ankles. And as you do this, feeling all those connections all the way down the legs into the lower back. And then pointing and flexing the toes. If you're in the chair, you'll just have the legs stretched out here doing the same thing. And then drawing the knees back in towards the chest, we're gonna make circles with the knees here, rotating the knees out and away from each other. So you're rotating the hips actually with the circles you're making with the knees here. I'm feeling those connections into the lower back. And I'll show you here in the chair what you'll be doing. So if you're in the chair for this one, you can just sit there with the, also placing the hands on the knees and rotating one foot by pressing the ball of that foot into the ground and making those little circles with the knees. You can do one side at a time or doing both sides at once, whatever works for you. And wherever you're at, just exploring with those circles, rotating back and forth, doing one side and then the other. And then if you're lying on the ground, we're gonna go ahead and pull that right knee in towards the chest. And you can place the left foot on the ground or extending it out long. And if you're chair in the chair, you're gonna actually extend the right leg out long here. And then well, all of us are gonna extend the legs out long. 
If you're lying on the ground, you can grasp behind that right thigh, pressing the sole of the right foot up towards the ceiling. You can rotate that ankle again here. I'm gonna just show you if you're in the chair. You'll just have that leg out long and you can do a forward fold to find that stretch in the foot doing that same rotation. And then we're gonna do a right hip stretch. So if you're lying down, we'll go ahead and bend that left leg, bringing the sole of the left foot to the ground. And then we're gonna bring that right heel of the foot to the left knee and just allowing that right knee to fall out or getting a stretch of that right hip. And if you're in the chair, your left knee is already bent. You'll just bring that right foot same way, bringing that right heel of the foot up to the left knee and just allowing it to fall open. And you can stay right here getting a stretch. If you'd like a little bit deeper stretch, you can sit up and then gently grasping behind that left thigh and then pulling the left leg in towards the chest. For those who are in the chair, so it'll just look like this. And then we'll go ahead and release that right foot, foot back down to the ground. Just taking a moment here and just noticing the right side of the body, noticing the left side of the body. Noticing any differences. And then we'll go ahead and pull that left knee in towards the chest for those who are on the ground. If you're in the chair, you'll be stretching the left leg out long. And then all of us are gonna stretch that left leg out long. And you can grasp behind the back of that left thigh. And flexing that left foot back. Just feeling that stretch all the way down the back of the leg into the lower back. Again, you can rotate the ankle here. And then we're gonna bring that left heel to the right knee and allowing that left leg to fall out, getting that stretch in the left hip. You can place the arms out long here if you'd like to for stability, or if you'd like a little bit deeper stretch, you can come up into a crunch and then grasp behind the right thigh, pulling it in towards the chest. I'm just taking a few slow deep breaths here. Perhaps even directing visualizing, directing the breath into that left hip. Just making sure if those of you that are in the chair, you'll just have that left heel on the right knee like this and you can gently fold forward if you'd like to. And then we'll go ahead and release that left foot back down to the ground. And then bringing the walking the feet out so that they're about mat distance apart or if you're in the chair so that they're a little bit wider than the chair. If you're lying down, go ahead and spread the arms out wide to kind of give you a sense of stability and anchor here. And we're gonna windshield wiper the legs back and forth. And you can do this with the breath here. So as you exhale, you'll allow the, the knees to fall out towards your left side. Inhaling back to center, 
Exhale, allowing the knees to fall towards your right. Inhaling back to center, falling to the left. And you'll just move along here at the pace of your own breath. If you'd like to, you can even gaze in the opposite direction that the knees are going. It'll be very similar if you're in the chair, just kind of windshield wipering the legs back and forth. And then coming back to center. We're going to do a happy baby. So I'll show for those of you who are in the chair first. For those of you in the chair, you'll bring the feet a little bit farther than the chair width apart. And you're going to just drape the torso forward. And if you're lying on the ground, we'll go ahead and reach between the legs, grabbing either the outside of the uh, shins, or you can grab the outside of the feet. So the left hand would be grabbing the left foot, right hand grabbing the right foot. And you can just gently roll back and forth here. Or you can press the feet up towards the ceiling. And then we'll come back to a neutral position, whatever that means for you. So you can drop the feet back to the floor if you're seated, coming back up to a seated position. And I'd like to invite you to just make any final movements that might feel good for you before our final Shavasana. So you might want to pull the knees back in towards the chest again, maybe doing a spinal twist or a bridge might feel good. Just taking a minute or so here. And if you're seated, finding you could either scoot back or forward into the chair, depending on where you would like to sit for these next 10 minutes or so. If you're lying on the ground, you can find Shavasana by stretching the legs out wide, allowing the feet to fall out towards the sides, palms of the hands up towards the ceiling. You can place a blanket or a pillow behind the had perhaps a blanket over you. If lying flat causes pressure in the lower back, you could always place a pillow or a support or a bolster behind the knees. Just starting to, to settle in, where, whatever that means for you today and feeling welcome to move at any time if you need to. Always an option to come up to a sitting position also. In whatever position you're in, I'd like to invite you to close the eyes again if that's comfortable for you. I'm just opening up to the sensations of sound in the room around you. Noticing the sound of my voice. And sensing all the areas where the body comes in contact with and is supported by the ground or by the chair. Feeling the body is supported and safe in this moment.
I'd like to invite you to, well, invite in the idea of an inner resource, of a place of safety and security and of ease. And to help with this, you could bring to mind a place perhaps real or imagined. Perhaps a place from your childhood, a room in your home, or a place that you've traveled or that you dream of going to. Whatever brings about that sense of security for you. And it's your inner resource, so you can have anyone that you want present. Any people or animals or perhaps the presence of a higher power. And if you're outside, perhaps there are trees present, animals, body of water. Whatever feels right for you in this moment. You can stay with that inner resource or you can explore sensations in the body. Just noticing sensations in the face and the jaw, just allowing tensions to release. And sensing the neck, the shoulders, the arms the hands. And just sensing the chest and the belly. And sensing the legs and the feet. Just allowing the entire body to release to gravity. And then bringing the attention to the sensations of the breath. Noticing the movement of air at the nostrils. Perhaps sensing the coolness of the inhalation and the gentle warmth of the exhalation. And sensing the movement of air through the throat, perhaps the coolness of the vocal cords. Sensing the gentle expansion and release of the belly with the breath. Perhaps noticing some of the more subtle sensations of the breath. Perhaps the gentle expansion and release of the rib cage. And gentle movement of the spine with the breath. And 
And sensing the gentle wave of the breath through the body, gently ebbing and flowing. Sensing the breath as nourishing every cell of the body. And now bringing the attention to the area of the heart. Noticing what sensations are present there. And perhaps inviting in an image or an experience from this week that brings about a sense of gratitude. Or if gratitude is not accessible, perhaps something that brings about a sense of strength. or a sense of joy. And now again, welcoming in the sounds around you. And if you're lying on the ground or if you're seated, you can stretch the arms overhead. So getting a full body stretch. If you're lying down, rolling to one side and taking a few breaths there. And as you're ready, you can push your way up to a comfortable seated position. And with the eyes closed for a few more breaths, just noticing what thoughts are now present. Noticing what sensations are now present in the body. Perhaps feel still feeling a little sense of that gratitude, of that strength or joy. And as you're ready, you can begin to bring in some light to the eyes, taking in sensations of color and shapes in the room around you. And as you're ready, arriving fully present in this moment, just as it is. <laughs> 